watching this video right now you want to make music into a full-time career whether you're an artist a producer an engineer a cover artist a creator a manager an AR, or something else music in some capacity is your end goal and in this video i'm going to put you on to four steps that will help you accomplish that goal and it's kind of weird but those four steps are applicable to all of those positions that i just named so if you follow these four steps religiously i promise you you will end up making it in the music industry probably within the year that being said if you have no idea who i am or what this platform is welcome to one track mine I am one track aka Josh and I like to make a whole bunch of different styles of content whether it's me talking about successful rappers and how they got to their positions or me just putting you on the general game about how the music industry works I'm just trying to see everyone win and I hope you're trying to see me win too and if so hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you're new and also go check out the Instagram and TikTok where I post daily content but anyways today I will be teaching you from personal experience how to make the music industry into a full-time career all right so step number one of breaking into the music industry in any position that you want is to do do as much free work as possible, but only do it for valid people or companies. I personally started off my journey in the music industry this exact way. I did free intern work for Polo G's management team, Hip Hop DX, before they were famous, and a bunch of YouTubers in the hip hop space, of course. And if I'm being fully honest, none of these people really directly helped me. I used them to be able to help myself. See, I did a bunch of free researching and editing and bitch work overall for all of these people, but I learned how to take that L and turn it into a W. Which brings me to step two. Always be outside at local concerts and networking events. And a little side note to that tip is to also message a certain amount of people that you're trying to connect with per day. See, now that you've completed step one, you have something of value in the eyes of the general public. Because if you're an intern writer for a big blog, or you're someone who does free research for a record label, you now have something of value that people in the music industry are after. And that's what I would always do. When I was interning for a bunch of different companies, I would literally DM like 10 to 20 people a day just trying to expand my network. And I would do so by letting them know where I worked or who I was working with. It's kind of like certifying your name without lying. And people People see potential value in you and want to connect. So to summarize, step two is just to be outside and be in everybody's eyesight. And this brings us to step number three, which is to leverage the network you now have from step one and two to get yourself into exclusive rooms. And what I mean by this is to go and pay your own travel expenses and go to concert after parties or attend certain meetings or label Christmas parties or things of that nature. You are now in a room where everybody matters. So you should be meeting every single person in that room. Because in step two, even if you were reaching out and networking with a whole bunch of people, typically like 80% of the network that you build doesn't really come in handy until way down the line. So you should be connecting with the people that directly could provide some sort of value to you. I would do this pretty much all the time. Like when I was outside and attending all the local concerts I possibly could, I was able to finesse myself backstage like 99% of the time because of who I worked with. And now I'm in the backstage of an important concert where everybody should be important. So I would do my best networking there and I would strongly recommend you guys do something similar. And those are the three key steps that lead us to step number four. Step four is to look at what you've built and leverage the value you've now built as an unpaid worker into something real. And this is the part where everybody kind of diverges. For me, I originally wanted to work in the back end of the music industry. So I ended up landing a real job with Hip Hop DX having originally been an intern. And through the network I had built, a friend of mine had actually introduced me to the co-CEO of Taylor Gang, which is Wiz Khalifa's label and management company. And I ended up getting my first consulting job over there. So steps one, two, and three really got me to step four. And this isn't only applicable to people that want to work in the behind the scenes area of the music industry. If you're an artist, you've now built the network to be able to do the things that you want to do. So for example, that step one for you could have been offering value of doing unpaid engineering work for a bigger artist. And now you've built the network through this artist to be able to get features from some of the bigger artists out there or promo from some of the bigger pages out there because they see potential value in you. They don't see it yet in you as an artist, but they see the value in the network that you have. I know big artist DJs who are also producers on the side and use their title as DJs to be able to get more producers credits. This concept is literally globally applicable. So use steps one, two, and three to leverage into something that's paid that contributes to your long-term goals. And then as a little bonus tip, we got step number five, which is to rinse and repeat. Because if it worked up until this point, I guarantee you it'll continue working as time goes on. And if you do it over and over again, you have different pieces of value to offer. My old way of offering value is to edit free videos for people and do free research. Now, thanks to you guys, I have a platform with over 100,000 subscribers on YouTube, 20,000 followers on Instagram, and 250,000 followers on TikTok. So I have completely different ways of offering values that align with my long-term goals. And this can be said for an artist or producer as well. If the value of your beat goes up, that's your new leverage point. If the value of a feature from you goes up, that's your new leverage point. This goes for cover artists, videographers, managers, a &Rs, and more. And that's pretty much it. Those are the steps to becoming successful in the music industry. If you have any questions about this at all, my Discord link is in my description. And I also give daily tips for artists in there, as well as on my Instagram. So y'all should definitely be following me on all platforms. All links are in the description.
description. And I hope to see you next time. And on the last video, I said if we get 500 likes, I would do a bunch more content like this. And we didn't hit 500 likes, which is kind of annoying. But it's cool because if this video hits 500 likes, I will hit up every single artist in my phone and ask them their advice on how to make it in the music industry. So be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in the next one. Thank you so much and have a great rest of your day. Peace.